Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Deleted happy birthday, ma'am. Deleted happy birthday. Gail, 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 gail. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, good evening. Hi, Gail. Good evening. Welcome back to our session. Happy delighted birthday, ma'am. Related birthday, Related happy birthday, ma'am. Related happy birthday, ma'am. Related happy birthday, ma'am. Just wait. Madam is Related happy birthday, ma'am. Moksha. Related happy birthday, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Related happy birthday, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Related happy birthday, ma'am. <laughs> Related happy birthday, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. How many people are here? Uh, 18. 18? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think they'll be joining in a couple of minutes. So you can start, Gail. Okay. Um, now I'll just go share screen. Mm -hmm. Where did it go? Come on. What is happening? Uh, do you have to do something to let me share screen? Yeah, I have already given you permission. Okay, why isn't it seeing? Why can't I see it? Oh, hang on. I'm silly. Hmm. Here we go. Now, can you see? Not yet. Oh, really? What's happening? Why can't you see? Did you go to share screen? I did before I went to this PowerPoint. So let me see now. Oh dear. Okay, let me go now, Zoom meeting, share screen. I'm clicking share screen. Why isn't it going? No. Oh, come on. Okay, share screen. Ah, now we can see. Share. This one, click here. Share. Yes. Now, Tom. Hooray. It's okay now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now it's gone. No, it's What's gone happening? again. It's gone oh. again. <laughs> you can see it now. Mm, no, Gail. 
Oh, please. What is happening here today? Are you following this right steps? Go to share screen. Yes, then I click on this one, then I click and share. The yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, now I want to go from the beginning here. Okay, we're right now? Yes. Okay, everybody. Now, tell me, please, um, we, we have a break in some time, yeah? Yes. All right. Can you give me some warning? Okay, you can give me some warning. Okay. What is somebody saying? No, nothing. <laughs> oh, they did okay. not uh, mute themselves. Okay, everybody, are we ready to begin? Yes. Okay, welcome to Australia, my country. Okay, this is the shape of Australia. I'm sure you've seen that in your atlases. So I want to show you two places in Australia. I live here, just past this place here. And my parents and my sister live here where I was born in Melbourne. So you can see that's a long way away. Now, Australia is an island. So we have many, much of a, a lot of coastline and we are the smallest continent and we are the largest island in the world. So I want to think about Australia and we're going to compare it with India. Let's see how much you know about your country while I talk about my country. So let's see, Australia has six states and two territories. Look at this tiny one down here. This is the capital of Australia. And there was arguments between these two states. They both wanted the capital to be in their state. So what the government did was draw a line around here halfway between two and said that is our capital territory. So we have six states and two territories. How many states does India have? How many territories? First question, Buji man, who is going to have the first question to answer? Yes, there are. Eight states and seven, eight union territories. Hello? Oh, now do we need to explain that we're going to take turns to answer questions? Have you explained that, Buji Man? No, no, I did not. Children, so today, uh, Gail Madam will be asking us questions. I'll be pointing out at students, only those children has to answer. If you know the answer, Ma raise your hands, okay? Raise your hands, you will get your turn. Anirudh, tell Ma me. Excited. Ma'am, maybe I will be disconnected for a while or one minute. Uh, never mind. Uh, Ma'am, uh, you can continue. Okay. So, who knows? Do you all know how many states and how many territories does India have? Darahas, tell me, Darahas. Ma'am, India has 20 States and eight union territories. Okay. 29 states. Yes. And two territories India has. Is that the answer you gave? Yes. Ah, very good. Very good. Okay. Is India an island? Yeah. Shashank, answer this question. <laughs> No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Do you have many beaches? See, Australia has many beaches. Does India have many beaches? Who can explain? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh. Ma'am. Ma'am, no, ma'am. It's not more than Australia. Ah, okay. Yes, but Australia. India does have many beaches. 
Who has been to a beach? Show me if you have been to a beach. Raise your hand. Thumbs up, children, so that madam can see you. Yes. And you've been swimming in the ocean? Did you go swimming in the beach? No, you did not go swimming. <laughs> uh, some of you did and some of you. Why did you not go swimming in the beach? Were you frightened? Yes, okay. All right, Australia has some interesting animals. Who can name some? Can you tell um, me? Like the giraffes, uh, uh, zebras. Australia no. has famous. We have them in a zoo, but they are not Australian animals. You can see zebra and giraffe in the zoo, but they are not in the Bam wild. Cocoons. Bam, cocoons are most famous animals in Australia. What are? What's that word? Cocoons. Cocoons. No, cocoons. Cocoons. Am I I never heard of cocoons. Kangaroos. Ma'am. Ma'am, in Australia, kangaroos will be mammals. Kangaroos. Ma'am, mammals. Kangaroos. Ma'am, kangaroos. Ma yes. ma what else? We have more than kangaroos that are native to Australia. What else? Doodle. Um, emus. Kiwi, emu, kiwi. emu, emu, yes, emu, <laughs> yes, right. <coughs> yes, so we have emu, we have um, kangaroo. Let me show you some. Here is our koala, this one here, our koala. Bear. But it is not a koala, it is not a bear. This one here, who knows the name of this one? Porcupine. Yes, porcupine we call, but also it is echidna. A proper name is echidna. Mm -hmm. Now, I have eaten echidna. When I lived way out in the desert, the people out there eat the echidna. And so we have eaten. Okay. And what is this one here? You don't know this one? Ma'am, it's a flying gecko. Is it a flying gecko or a flying frog? Ma'am, ma'am, it's platypus. No, no, no. This one here. This one. Ma'am, maybe it's a platypus. I don't know, ma'am. Up in the top, in the right, can't you see my arrow? Ma'am, it's a bear or a platypus. Okay, let's go to the platypus. This Mom, one that is, is a platypus. platypus with the point. Yeah. In. That this one here swimming is a platypus. Okay, now what is this one here? I don't know, ma'am. It's a bear. Ma'am, it's a wombat. <laughs> it is a wombat. A wombat. wombat. And they wombat. dig holes. And they are very strong. If your motor car hits one of these, it will crash up your motor car. They are solid, solid fat. <laughs> Mama, are they or, or are they small? Yes, they are small. They are about mm, let me see, 24, 20 inches high. What? Very short legs. Okay, see this one here? This one here is a bilby, a bilby. And it's like a little possum. And it Mommy, looks Mommy, it exactly rat. looks like a rat. It Mommy, does, it but it's bigger than a rat. And it's prettier than a rat. It has big ears. Um, its ears are like telescopes and they can Mommy, see things far soup. away. And this one here is our kangaroo. kangaroo. Yes. The, the nation animal of Australia. Exactly. And do you know, I was driving out of my house about one week ago and there was a kangaroo sitting in my driveway. So we have plenty of kangaroos in the wild. All right. What are some native Indian animals? Do you know all of these animals? 
Yes, ma'am. It's a bison. Yes, ma'am. Uh, rhino and tiger and elephant tiger. and goat. And, and the name of the animal bison. One at a time. Okay, Sampath can answer this question. Okay, Sampath and Manideep. Both of you can answer this question. Manideep, unmute, unmute and tell. Okay, Sampath, you tell me. Ma'am, the animals are, are the Indian rhinoceros, mm -hmm. the tiger, mm -hmm. an elephant. Yes. A, a bull, a bison, and and Indian gazelle. Very good. Very it's good. good. Well done. Okay. Now, Australia has many things that can bite, and sometimes they can kill you. So let's have a look at some dangerous things in Australia. Here we have funnel web spider. If it bites you, you will die quickly. These are found under rocks, uh, old tree logs, um, many places. You have to be careful when you are walking in the bush and if you are moving things and there are leaves and trees around, you must look and make sure. They build, a, they have a, they build like a tunnel and they have, they build a gate across the top. And if anything walks over that, they jump up and they grab it. So if you put your hand there, they will jump up thinking that you are something coming to their home and they want to eat you and they will bite you. And this one here is a shark. Because we have a lot of coastline and because of our position in the world, we have a lot of sharks. And some people every year get eaten by a shark. This one here is a blue ringed octopus. They are very, very dangerous. They will paralyze you and you will die if you don't get to the hospital immediately. And they are in the water and in the rock pools. So you need to be watching out and careful. Then we have a dingo and the dingo is a wild dog. And it will attack people if you threaten that dog or go near their home. They will come and they will attack you. They come in packs and they are wild. This one here is a red back spider. And you can see it has a red stripe on its back. And these are in the sheds and in the gardens. And you need to be careful. If you are gardening, you should wear gloves so the spider can't bite you directly. Now, these are called box jellyfish. Now, I live in North Queensland, in the north part of Australia, and we have these in our water. They breed in the rivers, and so when the rainy season comes, they all get flushed out of the river and into the sea. Now, I live near a beach where there are many of these and we are beginning our summer now and we are waiting for the rain. So when the rain comes, you cannot swim in the beach unless you wear a proper suit so that the sting of this jellyfish doesn't touch your flesh because if it does, you will be in great pain and if you don't get to the hospital immediately, you will die. This is a taipan snake, very dangerous and very fast. We have many different kinds of snakes in Australia. And lastly, crocodiles. About mm, 200 Mom? Mom? Yes. Mom, did any time you went to scuba diving? Yes, I've been scuba diving many times. Mom, can you? Very, very scary, scary ma'am. Um, these box jellyfish only come for four months of the year. So Ma they are not there all the time. Yes, go ahead. Question? No, Gail, you can go ahead. Okay. And this is a crocodile. 
Now, about mm, 500 meters from my home is a river. And in that river, there are many crocodiles. When my children were young, they used to swim in that river. But now the crocodiles are so many, you could not swim there without meeting a crocodile. So that's very dangerous and very scary. All right, what about India? What creatures do you have that can kill you? Who can answer this question? Ma'am, once again, can you repeat the question, ma'am? In Australia, we have all these different things that can kill us. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I understand what the local uh, octopus, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, once again, repeat, ma'am. Shashank, you can answer this. What are the creatures that can kill us in India? Tell us the animals that we Ma'am, python snakes. Ma'am, the python snakes. Okay. What snakes else? like python and uh, we ma'am and we have the dangerous animals uh, and wild animals like lions and tigers uh -huh. and uh, we we also have the poisonous snakes which live in deserts which split the poison onto the uh, onto the people in the desert yes, yes. and uh, uh -huh. And also we have the dangerous and the natural animal tiger. Right. Which harm which harms us widely. Yes. And also mm -hmm. we have and also we have the porcupines, which are very dangerous. Yes. Yeah, in some in some cause we can take a treatment, but in some cause uh, uh, there's a chance of a death. Oh. Okay. And uh, thank you, thank you, Shashank. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, you got the king of the scorpions. Mm. Oh yes. Scorpion bites. Yes. So I mean, and and scorpions, and scorpions are almost uh, uh, very much in uh, deserts, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So when I looked on the internet, oh, what things can kill in? India, they said mosquito, bear, tiger, um, snakes, scorpion, and even monkeys, if they bite you and they have um, a disease, you can die, correct? Yes, again, it's good. Yeah. Thank you. Now, I've got a video that I want you to watch by an Indian lady who came to Australia to live. So let's listen to her saying what's good about living in Australia. Yep. Come on, lady, talk. What is this lady doing? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Neha and you're watching Emmy Australia. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about five things that I really like about living in Australia. In one of my previous videos, I talked about a few things which I dislike, but there are a lot of other things which I really like about Australia. And in this video, I'm going to talk about them. So keep watching this video till the end. And if you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's begin. Mixed culture. So Australia is a melting pot of different cultures. People from over 200 nationalities reside in Australia and speak over 400 different languages. Almost 2.6% of the total population consists of Indians. So it is very easy for a migrant to settle down quickly in Australia. Beautiful places to visit. Australia is a country that is as diverse as it is beautiful. There are so many places in Australia that you should visit once you are in Australia. Some of them are the Pink Lakes in Western Australia, Opera House Harbour Bridge in Sydney, Uluru or Ayers Rock near Alice Springs, Great Ocean Road Drive in Victoria, and of course, Great Barrier Reef in Queensland. And the list just goes on. If you like mountains, you got it. If you like beaches, you got it. And even if you like deserts, it's all here. So you should visit all of these places and I really love this about Australia. Public healthcare system in Australia. 
So Australia has a highly developed public health care system. It is usually delivered by both government and private agencies and is usually covered under your Medicare. In my own personal experience, the quality of medical care that I've received has been excellent and I really love that about Australia. If you would like to know more about the public healthcare system here in Australia and what Medicare is, please write it down in the comment section below. I would love to make a video on that. Crime rate. So according to UN 2019 Global Study in Homicide, the homicide rate in Australia is slowly decreasing in the last two decades. If I talk about my personal experience, I feel absolutely safe when I'm walking alone on the streets of Melbourne, even if it's 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. I'm not worried or scared about my own safety. So that is what I really like about Australia. Do follow me on Instagram. My Instagram ID is right now on the screen. I share a lot of updates through stories and posts. I also talk about all the things that I love about Australia. So go check my Instagram right now. Minimum wage. And I'm sure this point is the most appealing to all the migrants out there. According to the OECD report in 2019, Australia had the highest minimum wage in the world. It was almost 19.84 Australian dollars per week. So I'm sure migrants would prefer this country as the minimum wage is the highest. It's a labor friendly country. So that's what I really love about Australia. Friendly people. You walk into a shopping center or a pub, people will always smile at you. They will always ask you, how are you doing? Uh, if they have their dog, sometimes they will even let you uh, play with their dog if you're lucky enough like me. Um, kindness costs nothing. And of course, that is what I love about Australia. Even when I'm walking around the streets of Melbourne randomly, people will smile at me or at least they will greet me. And that is something I really love about Australia. Respect for all kinds of jobs. No matter what your profession is, you are treated with respect and empathy by everyone around, even if it's a blue collar job. If you have a blue collar job, not only you are paid well, but people respect and value you for your services because these services are difficult to provide, but are very essential. Variety of food. If you enter any supermarket here in Australia, you will find so much variety of any particular item. For example, if I'm talking about apples, if you want an apple for you, there will be at least five to seven varieties of apple available. It gives the consumer so much of choice to choose from the wide variety of uh, things available. Um, but also it creates a huge lot of confusion because you always can't decide which one you want. Um, if you want cheese, sauce, noodles, you name it and they have it all. There are aisles full of different varieties of all these items. And I just love this about Australia. So I remember when I first came to Australia, I couldn't even decide on what kind of sauce did I want? Because I just knew like one kind of soya sauce, but here I could find at least 10 to 20 of them. So this is really good about Australia um, that there's a huge variety of items that are available. Proximity to Asia. So I am from India, uh, which is in Southeast Asia. And as compared to US and Canada, Australia is closer to Asia. So it takes me less amount of time in the plane to reach uh, India. I really hate traveling in planes for long duration. I like traveling, but then sitting in a flight for like 20 hours is something I really hate. So it's better that I live in Australia and I can cut down my travel time somewhat as compared to if I would have been living in US or Canada. So this is what I really like about Australia. Okay guys, so I just realized while editing this video that I need to make a disclaimer. So all opinions expressed in this video are my own. The city is full of beautiful parks, playgrounds, Mm. Uh, walking trails, lakes, cafes, shopping centers, you name it and you have it all. It's a very well-planned, safe city. And that is what I really love about living here. There are so many things that I absolutely adore about this country. For example, the air quality index of Australia, the public transport system, the public education system, the low interest rates on loans, etc etc i can go on and on and on 
I can definitely make a part two of this video. If you want me to make a part two for things I absolutely love about Australia, please write it down in the comment section below and I'll definitely try to make a video on that. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hi, guys. Welcome back. So, do you believe her? Do you think Australia is a good place to live? Yes, who would like to come in and visit me in Australia? Mam me. me also. Mam I, I, I want to me. Mam me also. Oh, very good. I will also visit. I am okay. there to Mam only the Mam I'm scared of that. No, you don't see those things that bite every day. Only if, if you have a garden with many leaves and logs, then you need to be careful. But it's the same in India. You need to yes. be careful for snakes. They are Ma'am, ma'am, and a small, uh, ma'am, and a small difference between India and uh, Australia, ma'am. Ma'am, the Australia has the second largest stadium called Melbourne, and uh, and India has the. First largest, first and one and only largest stadium in Gujarat, man. Oh, okay then. And, okay. and before before 2019, the Australia is first position in the stadiums of Melbourne. And after 2019, uh, the stadium in Gujarat got opened and it has almost 10 lakhs more seats than Melbourne Stadium. Oh, so you're beating us now. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Now, the Australian language. We have many words that other English speaking countries don't use. We have words that we have invented, and we have words that we have shortened and, and changed them. And you will only hear them from an Australian. So, I am going to play you a famous Australian song that every child learns in school when they are young and we sing it all the time. It's called Waltzing Matilda. Children, now, please don't write on the screen. Neelima, Moksha, Vinisha, please don't write on the screen. That is not manners, okay? Okay, so I'm going to give you a test after listening to this song. I'm going to see if you can work out what some of these words mean. So here is the famous Australian song called Waltzing Matilda. So read the words and listen to the song. Who 
has heard that song before? Hello? Yeah, just a second. Okay. Shashank, you can tell. Ma'am, hmm. I heard it. Ma'am, ma ma I heard the... Ma'am, I heard the song many times, ma'am. Ah, actually, when ma'am, when I did a small research in Australia, I listened it, ma'am. Ah, very good. That's nice to hear. Has anybody else? Ma'am, I heard it when I was small. When I was small, and I was in America. Oh, okay, very good. So some of you know that tune. Now, Buji, ma'am, do we have to take a break? Yes, let's take a break and be back in one minute, children, because now the time is 6.10. So we'll have 15 minutes for uh, travel class and 6.30 we have wall painting class. Okay, children. So yes. Can we paint the wall painting on a plank? Yeah, it's later. Please join back immediately. Please log out and log in back again, children. Okay, so We have 15 minutes only when we come back. Now the time is 6.10, Gail. We have till yeah. 6.30. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll just log out and log in back immediately. So they are not taking any break. They'll just yeah. log out and log in back, okay? Okay, no worries. Okay. 